Hello and welcome to Loving Growth. This is Josh Morris and today I'm going to be telling you about the difference between white labeling and private labeling on Amazon.com because that is where I sell products. So what is white labeling? First of all, white labeling uh, it comes from the music industry where people used to send out vinyls with a white plain label so that DJs could play it, blah, 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 right? So, so it comes from like the idea of copying a product and sending it to lots of retailers. So that's kind of what white labeling That's what white labeling is. White labeling is very simple. Private labeling, on the other hand, is where it's similar because the supplier still sends a product to the retailer who then sells it to the customer, but the supplier creates a special logo and maybe does it in a special way or puts it in a special package that's unique to that retailer. So what we do, on Amazon is we use private labeling. So we get our own logo, our own box done. We have the product done in our own way. We can put it different ways. It might be similar to white label in that the product might exist already. We're not creating a product from scratch, but we are making it our own. So it's technically considered private labeling, but there's a little bit of white label essence still in there, but we still call it private labeling. The idea of creating your own brand, putting it up on Amazon. So what's my experience with using private labeling? So in the last two years, I started a course with my brother called ASM. And this teaches you it's amazing selling machines. They sell for like six grand. It was the most money we ever spent on a course, ridiculous. And now they are closed. Sorry about that. They open every once in a while, but they're not open at the moment. Ah, thank you for waiting so patiently while I drink my coffee. Yes. Okay, so private label, my experience. Okay, so our first product, we private labeled, we did, our, we did our own logo, our own brand, and we sent it to Amazon. And the great thing is that you're unique on Amazon, so you really stand out, you can make a premium price. And we hit 10K in just a few months in revenue per month. That is crazy. And that was like two years ago almost. So we've been growing and adding products and things like that. It's been quite an amazing journey. So we just love private labeling. Um, I've sold a little bit on Shopify, uh, not that much to say that I know enough about it to talk about it, but that, in my experience, Shopify is more of an area where you'd have to know marketing, you'd have to understand how to sell the product. So if you want to do private labeling, I think it's better to do it on Amazon first, because then you don't have to worry about private labeling and selling it on your own at the same time. You could just worry about one thing. Learn about private labeling um, by selling on Amazon. It's a very, very powerful way to build a business. And if you have no idea how to do that, and you're like, what the hell, Josh? How do I start an Amazon business? Worry not. We have some free training. Me and Shimmy, my brother, made some free training so you can just start right away. So I've put a link below for that. So, I mean, I don't want to promote the, the, the training or anything because you're just here to find out the difference between white label and private label. And I hope I explained it. So private labeling, in my opinion, is better to start if you want to sell on Amazon. And white label is just sort of this this term that's getting mixed around, that's thrown into it, that doesn't really relate, right? So that's, that's it. Private labeling and white labeling. If I didn't explain it, please ask a question in the bottom. I mean, that's how I understand it. And to me, it's very simple. Go private labeling. And don't worry about the terms. Just get your own logo, your own brand, and sell it on Amazon. Uh, our training can help you if that's, if that's what you want to do. That's what we've been doing for the last few years. So I hope you learned something from this. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.